open, it's 40 inches wide by 41 inches long, and it's 28 inches tall. The wood is a red pine, mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to a white pine, which is more common around here. Mm -hmm. And the trees themselves were harvested right out here. Mm -hmm. Frost planted the red pines uh, on the property in the 1920s, and uh, he got the seedlings from the state of Vermont, and uh, it was a soil conservation program at that time. And uh, they planted the little tiny things out plantation style, out in uh, the back of the property. And uh, that was 90 years ago. So uh, now uh, we took two of them down last, um, I guess, in January of 09. And, um, and then we sawed them into boards in May of 09. And then we dried the wood for one year in our barn, the old-fashioned way, so it could slowly dry. And um, so Bob's table, this is table number one now. And uh, we're going to be selling them as fundraisers, and uh, one will always remain here in the museum. And this, is, this table is based on a design uh, of a Frost family table, and so we have something that is historically correct in wood that frost grew here at the, at the stone house. Um, it, it's, a, uh, it's kind of an early American design and it's, it's uh, a really functional uh, table the, it, itself uh, uh, with the leaves down, two people can sit, one person can sit on, sit on either end, one leaf can come up and the, and the other one stay down, or both uh, leaves can come up and um, seat many more people. I, as a custom furniture maker, I'm always looking for ideas and, and, the, and the like, and, and I will actually u utilize this basic design for a table that I'll make in my, in my, uh, my own shop. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll, I'll tweak the dimensions a little bit to make it more uh, uh, 2010 dimensions, uh, but mm -hmm. I think it's, it's a fabulous design. Uh, the, the lines are, are elegant. The finish is a tongue oil uh, finish, which will resist water and moisture, so it will be very, uh, very useful as well, as well as uh, just something beautiful to look at and certainly historic and fun. I make um, furniture from wood on people's property uh, fairly regularly. Uh, a, a sentimental tree comes down, and people, people, we all get attached to our trees. And this way they can have something to say, well, that was made from the apple tree that was in the backyard or the maple tree or mm -hmm. whatever. And it gives me great pleasure uh, to do that because it, uh, uh, it, uh, the tree is on uh, as a result of that. And just the way this is, this is, this is, um, uh, this is for people that are truly frostbitten, as I always like to say. That's our little in-house <laughs> joke on frost. Uh, and um, so... Yep. You mentioned that it's a fundraiser. Can you tell me the price of the? Well, uh, we're going to. It's going to be in the neighborhood of two thousand dollars. So it's very special. And then once we get the prototype, we'll take orders for them, um, and um, and Bob will make them as we get orders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.